Is this the end of Errol Spence Jr.? The last few years have been rocky for Spence to say the least. From a 2019 car crash where he was ejected from his Ferrari, to a 2021 match with Manny Pacquiao being canceled because of a retinal tear. Life outside the ring has been tough on Spence, but inside the ring since 2019, he's been able to overcome challenge after challenge, including a 2020 UD win over Danny Garcia and a TKO win in 2022 against Jordanis Ugas. But that all came to a devastating end last week when he faced Terrence Crawford for the undisputed welterweight titles. The beating was so severe that people were calling for his retirement right after the fight. Don't get me wrong, it was sad to see Spence get beat down like that. I mean, it wasn't even close. Spence had no answers for Bud, and being there live, it looked as if Spence had no fire in him. I mean, it looked like something was off. His reflexes, his timing, his movement, everything, the whole fight just seemed off. But calling for retirement, I just don't know. I mean, yeah, his performance was bad, but don't forget who he was in there with. Spence finally fought the best, and he lost. It happens. He could have made excuses after his first big loss like many other fighters do, but he didn't. So for me, this is not the end of Errol Spence Jr. I don't think he should retire, but it does raise a red flag. If he does come back, his next performance will really tell us the answer to the question the fans have been asking, should Errol Spence retire?